prehab, strength work, activation exercises, drills, whatever you want to call it, doing specific injury prevention outside of your swimming, cycling and running is key to being a stronger and faster triathlete. Now someone who knows the importance of this is pro triathlete Sebastian Keenly. Well in this video he is going to be guiding us through his injury prevention strategy. Sebastian, you're um, like from the outside, seem one of the athletes that, that has the least amount of injuries for the amount of training that you do and the amount of racing you do. What is the key behind that? Like what, you must do some work to, to keep this body intact. Well, then I think I've already done a good job to keep that impression from the <laughs> outside because I think, of course, everybody is uh, struggling every now and then and so do I. Um, I think the key is really, uh, of course, you have to do uh, a lot of things to, to just like maintain the, the machinery and yeah. uh, not just um, uh, constantly pound pound it, but also um, uh, yeah, just like do a, keep a good um, uh, routine with maintaining it. But on the other hand, just like don't overdo it. Some people, I think they, you know, by trying to stay injury free, mm. they doing like another three hours of foam rolling a day yeah. or something yeah. like that and I think it's just um, keep it balanced. So yeah. what is your prehab routine? What do you focus on in your in your prehab and your injury prevention? Yeah. So uh, especially uh, uh, with my Achilles I always um, struggle maybe uh, since 2013, 2014. So that's always been uh, um, something I were, I were foc focusing on and um, IT band is also I think yeah, I'm not the only one who, uh, who is having issues with that. So especially in the morning, I think it's um, really important when I do a morning run before breakfast to, to get the blood flow going, especially mm -hmm. in those areas um, uh, with um, feet, Achilles and so on. So usually I start to do like, probably do some, uh, some jogging or skipping okay. um, uh, on, a, on a small foam pad. I do that inside, you know, mm -hmm. um, especially if it's cold outside, it's like, just like so um, kept, Keep the get the engine going and get the blood flowing and then I use a floss band you can google that it's um, uh, you'll find it um, uh, wrap it around the, the calf and uh, basically what it does it stops the blood flow um, uh, and then you start to make some uh, some uh, yeah some exercises for example okay. this eccentric exercises on the chairs a lot of people know that that have uh, yeah so, so lowering under load yeah, slowly exactly, yeah exactly yeah exactly you can also increase that by using a weight vest for example okay and basically what it does it's um, uh, it's forcing uh, the killers to uh, like start to move in the sheet um, uh, it, which is like really important to basically break up these um, yeah um, uh, the, the with, tissue that's yeah, sort of sticking exactly, basically yeah. exactly and um, the second thing is when you remove the band um, uh, there, there's like a really uh, high blood pressure um, because you stop the blood flow and then when you remove it it's absolutely shooting um, through your, your foot so it's really increasing the, the blood flow. Um, that's something I do and then uh, well what else of course um, also some just like some kind of foam rolling before the run I try to like use small foam roller okay. to um, uh, do the plantar fascia mm -hmm. and um, uh, important um, with that is like to do it really slow. A lot of people just like seem Get to into like deep, want yeah. to wrap it. <laughs> and um, so what I do is like, okay, um, uh, really uh, with a good, good load so that it probably hurts you a little bit, but very slowly. Um, and um, yeah, and then after the run, I uh, probably do like a little bit more foam rolling, especially for the IT band. I found it better to do that when you're already warmed up yeah. after an easy run, for yeah, example. Yeah. What I use, it's um, a special um, kind of um, black roll. It's okay. called Black Roll Viper. There are other yeah. companies out there yeah. that basically produce the same. It has like a vibration yeah. core on it. And um, that seems to help yeah. me to really release. And this the is all post. That's, that's that's post. Yeah. That's is there anything else you do for your general prehab? Maybe not just on a warm up, but actual exercises that you might do sort of in the gym that that help you with your injury prevention. Of course, I think um, even if tri if triathlon is is, um, uh, is a sport where you have a lot of variety with. I mean, swimming is already a very good um, workout for the core as well, but I think the core is always one of the big issues mm -hmm. um, athletes have. So I do a lot of uh, work for, is for the core and the side. Um, that's really important in my opinion. And then also for the shoulder, I mean, a lot of 
athletes like to swim with paddles, so do I. <laughs> and um, uh, so therefore I try to do a lot of like um, rotation, rotation yeah. exercises. Um, that's important, I think. And then uh, um, also strengthen the plantar fascia is, is, um, uh, is a good, good thing to prevent Achilles problems. Mm -hmm. I do that by using a, a TeraBand rubber band, yep. um, uh, basically step on it okay. and you pull it upwards so that your uh, um, toes are facing uh, upwards okay. and then you just like press so the you're, toes. So you're doing plantar flexion against it. Exactly. Okay. I mean, you can also do that by basically just grabbing a towel or something yep. like that. That's something I don't, you don't even need to go to a gym, just like when you brush your teeth, you yeah, can yeah, yeah. do stuff yeah. like that. Um, so yeah, oh. what else? Um, that uh, sounds a pretty, like that's going to keep you busy, <laughs> I think, yeah, for, for pretty Yeah, hard. I mean, you you guys know, like it's yeah. a 24-7 job. You <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah, you, you can, can do it all day. Do yeah. That's yeah, the reason exactly. why I say, like, oh, of course you need to do things, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's you the just balance. don't overdo it. Yeah. Another thing, what I think is really important is um, um, for the ITB, I, ITB yeah, to, to keep that strong because especially on running and um, cycling, you always use like the glutes and mm. the, the quads, but mm. the ITB is usually a little bit uh, weak. So mm. just like with um, also with rubber bands around the, the side knees, stepping, exactly. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, you guys know the drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, interestingly, really it's sort of, you know, a lot of people would come up with glute activation early on. Like, and you're talking very much about foot, foot based stuff. But I mean, and you, know, and you talk about the chain, but do you do much actual glute activation or do your glutes fire well anyway? I think what's really important with that is um, it's the time when you do it. So activation before the run is fine, but don't really use it as a strength workout before the run because then you're already no tiring mm -hmm. um, uh, the IT yeah. um, uh, bands and, uh, and stuff and, and then it can't really work that well on the run. So I think it, it can be pretty dangerous if you do uh, a lot of core work and uh, stuff like that before cool. the run. Yeah. I would rather recommend is just like do some easy exercises, but not stuff that's really tiring mm -hmm. you before the run. Yep. And then if you want to do a real workout, either do it after the run or do it separately. Okay. So that you are not going into run or ride with already tired. Yep. Um, Legs, legs, because yeah. then it can switch them off almost yeah exactly. it will compensate yeah. yeah well sebastian as i mentioned earlier you race a lot throughout the season so recovery is obviously a key what have you got what have you found that works for you in re your recovery well of course recovery is key i think everybody agrees on that nowadays um, yeah. it took us a little bit of uh, time to figure that out but yeah. uh, well i mean there's always a certain routine i think um the most important thing directly after race is like to protect the immune system by, you know, getting uh, dry and warm mm -hmm. and um, uh, then do a little bit of a cool down, just maybe an easy jog. I prefer uh, if there is a, like a trainer or a spin bike in yeah. the hotel, I do that. And of course, um, nutrition. Um, I'm gonna have like a power bar, protein uh, recovery bar, but Get I mean, there is, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but of course there's like plenty of options nowadays. Um, yeah. I mean, a shake is also good because I think it replaces some of the fluids mm -hmm. and uh, that's of, of course key. And um, yeah, and then uh, later that day, uh, um, uh, I'll usually either like get a massage or uh, um, I also travel with my Norma Tech usually. Mm -hmm. um, also, there is plenty of options nowadays. <laughs> um, so and do you so you do you use Norma Tech straight after your race? Um, uh, probably with allow probably like before I go to bed, maybe okay. like three uh, three four hours after the race, yep. depending on if it's a long course. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I prefer that usually, so I do some active recovery, uh, maybe two or three hours after the race. Mm -hmm. It always depends on, usually I have to go to a water room. Uh, yeah, <laughs> tough life. Yeah, <laughs> my uh, Achilles and the plantar fascia is always like a little bit of a weak spot and I always try to uh, like keep the blood flow going. So I'll usually always have a golf ball or a small foam roller in my hand luggage, in mm -hmm. my carry-on luggage. Uh, be careful with the golf ball in a plane. Uh, stewardess does not like that when yeah. you're like throwing away the, the golf ball in the plane or something like that. So keep it in your place. And uh, yeah, so I try to roll my plantar fascia a little bit and uh, maybe don't 
be the guy that is standing next to the toilet for 10 hours, but <laughs> um, get up every now and then, uh, um, uh, probably drink enough so that you have to go to the toilet yeah. every like yeah. <laughs> two yeah, or three the, hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can yeah. Yeah, keep the blood flow. And earlier you talked about the, the ball that you use as well for your ITB. What's, yeah. Do you use that in recovery? Um, yeah, of course. Um, uh, I think it's good not to use it um, basically the day after the race or something like that when you're legs are still like really sore um, I would recommend a light massage or a very soft foam roller at that okay. time and the few days after your race aside from that what training would you start to do or how would you use your training in recovery well I mean one of the most important things is of course to like uh, track your uh, recovery status and uh, there are different ways one of them is like yeah. um, uh, <laughs> little technical devices so uh, Polar um, uh, has that um, uh, option to like track your recovery I usually uh, um, uh, use like heart rate also as an okay. indicator of your recovery status so do like um, rest heart rate mm -hmm. uh, tracking um, that's one one of the options so i think timing is key when you want to start training at what load yeah. so of course you want to like move but don't go too hard on yourself so i like to start doing things like aqua jogging for example it's like really nice on your on your ligaments and, and your joints and stuff like that but the 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 water is almost like a yeah, it's almost like a massage yeah. um, tool to your legs and also the water gives you like a gradual um, um, uh, compression, yeah. you know, so the, the feet have a higher yeah. um, uh, compression yeah, yeah, than, yeah. The, than the hips, so that's also good for, for the blood flow. I like to do that or just if you have the option, um, uh, an easy swim is uh, an easy swim is always oh. nice. Um, uh, Running is not something I really love, um, yeah. but I try to at least um, uh, start to run not too late because I figured out for me if I uh, if I stop running for yeah. a longer time, it's actually not beneficial for, for example, my Achilles. But yeah. then I would start doing like 10 minutes run, five minutes walk, 10 minutes run, okay. five minutes walk, super easy. Cool, awesome. Well, some really great insights there to both prehab and recovery. Thank you so much, Sebastian, for that. And yeah. if you guys have enjoyed this and you wanna make sure you catch all of our videos from GTN, hit the globe to subscribe. And if you want to catch some of our videos, we've made one on recovery that I did from Chattanooga last year. That is just here. And if you want to see some uh, IT uh, activation, you click here. <laughs>